Hi. Hey. Hi. My name is Austin and I'm with UConn EC. Do you, are you guys students here? Yeah. All right. Uh, so what is this school? Uh, it's East Harper High School. All right. Awesome. Um, do you guys mind if you show me around? Yeah, sure. So what are your two names? Uh, my name is Brandon. And Kayla. Awesome. And uh, what's your favorite food? Ooh, I love pizza. Anything. Like, like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> the Italian food. It's pretty mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what UConn EC classes do you take? We both take human rights. Yeah, awesome. human rights EC. What do you do in that course? Um, so basically, we talk about human rights violations and what it means to have human rights. Uh, we just finished talking about the Armenian Genocide. Right now we're on um, colonization of Africa. Are you, are you guys working on any like projects or anything right now? Um, so right now we're doing our service learning project where basically we have to pick a specific human rights violation that we want to help improve. So right now we're trying to figure out a way to fundraise money. Um, right now we're I think focus on a car wash. We've got some plans for some restaurant fundraising. Wow. We're doing a change collection at lunch. Mm. So you come in, put some change in the jar, and it helps your class. Yeah, just oh. any awesome. extra change you have, you can just put in an empty soda bottle, and we'll collect that, and that'll also go towards our fundraising. Uh, uh, do you mind if I take a look in your class? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, I heard you teach EC Human Rights. I do. I'm one of the two co-teachers of this class. Uh, I, Mr. Swed, and I teach the history component of the class. Mr. Sparks is an English teacher, and he teaches the English component. Um, and we teach um, human rights. We've taught it for 14 years and, and going. Um, so the ECE kids, uh, we cover a variety of topics uh, within the human rights field and the kids are currently working on a service learning project with the Hawkwing organization uh, out of Glastonbury, Connecticut and run by CNN top 10 hero, uh, Rochelle Ripley. Uh, so our students get a firsthand experience in how to conduct a humanitarian project while learning about various human rights topics. I see. So that's really interesting how like, it's, it's a block course. So does it count for two ECE credits? Oh. Uh, as far as ECE credits, it counts as the Introduction to Human Rights class at the University of Connecticut. Okay. Here at our school at East Hartford High, it counts as one English credit and one history credit. So that's the breakdown of the credits. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. So what is... So is this your gym? Yeah. Yeah? This is the entrance to our gym. And I see there's a... Uh, you got... Is, your, is Hornets your mascot? Yeah. Awesome. And do you have any school rivals? Manchester and probably Glastonbury, um, East Catholic, right? Yes. Yeah. What sports are your schools known? Is Mainly your school known football, for? I believe, and our soccer team's also pretty good. Okay. Cool. All right, All right. So, outside the store, we have our Pride and Joy or football field. Um, it's fairly new. I think they finished building it our freshman year, and it was pretty much all they talked about for like the first month. But we kind of do a lot here. We have our gym classes here. We had our pep rally here a couple of months ago. That was really fun. I didn't realize that our class had that much school spirit until that pep rally. We also have our soccer games here, our football games here. So what's something like that you love about your school or like you think is unique? Uh, the diversity. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Like it would be impossible to make a friend of the same, like you can't have a friend group with people of just the same background. You're always going to meet people of different backgrounds, different religions, different ethnicities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's really, really hard to just stay ignorant when you're constantly just around people of different backgrounds and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the library? Yep. Awesome. So do people, what, what do people do here usually? They just a lot um, of things. A lot of people come here during their lunch because they don't want to go to their lunch period. Mm -hmm. So they'll come here and do like homework or if they have an essay type, they'll use computers. Something um, new this year is the math lab where you can get a pass from your math teacher and it's upstairs, the math and writing center, mm -hmm. and you can get tutoring for free. Mm -hmm. Okay. With anything you're struggling with. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, like who, who, who tutors you usually? Like other students or? No, I'm teachers. 
I'm not if mistaken. you go up there, it's teachers, but there's also they offer tutors from the National Honor Society. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the National Honor Society, you basically fill out a form saying like what your specialties are, like what you're good at. So mm -hmm. You're good at math, so if there's someone who needs help with math, they'll put you down for that. Oh. And then you go to them. Cool. It's empty right now, but that's very This this story? Yeah. Oh, why is it so famous? Is it because... Uh, um, because of the last sentence. It basically talks about how any little effort you put forth towards a cause can actually make a difference mm -hmm. towards just any individual that you help. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't make like a huge impact, just any little thing that you do helps. Mm -hmm.